Welcome back to Post Time. I was asked by the publication, The Canadian Sportsman, to pick my top 10 all-time best colors in harness racing. Now, I don't drive myself, obviously. I don't want to be seen in the same outfit night after night. But I do love fashion, and I was honored to contribute to the magazine. Let's check out my list. Number 10, Ron Burke. This color scheme of gray and yellow is usually seen in a classically decorated room in a magazine. That particular neutral hue with a sensational pop of color is really unexpected to see on clothing. Number nine, Brett Miller. I absolutely love purple. It's the color of royalty. Purple combines dynamic energy and inspiration. There are plenty of purple clad drivers out there, but I think Brett's are the best. Number eight, Anthony McDonald. I really like the originality of this design, but I'm also wild about that blue. It's like that electric blue that graces those gorgeous parrots who live in the rainforest. Plus, Anthony is always wearing a smile. That's accessorizing. Number seven, Andy Miller. Personally, I wouldn't be caught dead wearing orange. But somehow, Miller can not only pull off this color, but looks amazing in it. You can always spot the orange crush in a race, too. Number six, Howard Parker. Baby blue. In my opinion, you can't go wrong with baby blue and white colors. They look great in the bike during every season. Howard isn't the only driver who wears baby blues, but his design, with the stars in it, gets my fondest attention. Number five, Joanne Looney. Did you think I wouldn't include my mom's colors? Red, white, and turquoise. Her colors are strong and bright, and setting them apart from every other set in harness racing is the position of the horseshoes. They are upside down. Only a trailblazing woman in the sport, like my mom, can look luck in the eye and flat out challenge it. Number four, Gary Lewis. Remember how much I love the color purple? I can thank this man for adding them to the harness racing colors scheme. Purple was hardly an acceptable color to be wearing when Lewis donned his purple, green, and white. Gary definitely started a trend. Number three, Ole Cassini. He dabbled in the harness racing sport, but is best known for dressing and dating some of the most famous and beautiful women in history. He even designed clothes for Jacqueline Kennedy. His racing colors were black with red diamonds. After all, they are a girl's best friend. To not add Ole Cassini's colors to my list would be a fashion travesty. Number two, Yannick Gingra. Let me start out by saying I do not like the colors green and gold together. My apologies to Tietrich, Jameson, Callahan, Condren, etc., and so forth. I have no logical explanation. I just don't like those two colors on the same canvas. Now, with that being said, Jingra is my exception. Why? I love, love, love his design. It's different and visible on the track. I'm not crazy about the gold piping. I'd much rather see it in black. However, I'll let Yannick slide on this one because I'm head over heels about the design. Number one, Daryl Beer. To me, Daryl's set of colors is my little black dress. It's simple and it's eye-catching. You can never go wrong with the classic black and white contrast. It's a combination that defies time. Beer's colors also have just the right amount of pizzazz to make a girl do a double take. The sash, I know, I know, it's the pageant queen in me coming out. That not only makes me smile, but the stars on it do too. And combine that with gold piping, perfection.
before I ask you about how excited you are being picked number one on my all-time colors list, first I'm going to ask you about your look. Are you going for the Don Johnson look this week? I didn't know you were coming tonight. If I had known, I would have been better prepared. That's not the answer. You're supposed to say you're totally Miami based out. Actually, I'm headed towards Miami Friday, so I'm, I'm, I may be preparing for that. Well, what we can do is tomorrow we'll go shopping together and I can get you like a really cool t-shirt with like one of those blazers and then you'll ju just like Don Johnson. That's cool, right? Yeah, we could do that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, this is the big question. You know, how excited are you? I mean, this is amazing for you, right? To be picked at number one on my all-time colors list in harness racing? Absolutely, it really is. I do I do like these colors. I, I, I agree with you. They're my number one set, too. They're my favorite colors. Now, would we be stretching it if I said that when you heard the news, um, you were as happy as you were, like, on your wedding day or when your children were born? I was, I was pretty pleased, I gotta tell you. And then when I seen the article in the, the Canadian Sportsman, and uh, I, I was pretty pleased, I, you know, I appreciate it. Well, congratulations, by the way, on making my number one top pick in colors. And we're going to have Daryl on in a few weeks, back on post time again, but I'm not gonna tell you why, okay? You're gonna have to tune back in to find out in a few weeks. Um, Thank you for being on the show, Daryl, and I will see you back here, um, I think in about a month. Okay, I'll be here. <laughs>